Good morning. Today we will talk about microeconomics, which is a discipline that studies the functioning of the market, which means the choices of consumers and firms facing the problem of scarcity of resources. Choosing is necessary because resources are scarce. Very basically, if I had everything, I wouldn't need to choose. Whenever you make a choice, you give up something. This means that choosing is costly and the cost that I have to bear whenever I choose something is called an opportunity cost. So for example, if I'm attending a lecture in class, I'm giving up spending time with my friends outside. Or another example can be made referring to the case of a consumer buying an iPod. If a consumer wants to buy an iPod because he goes jogging, probably he would need a very small iPod, an iPod shuffle. However, the purchase of a very small iPod means that he cannot really store many songs on the iPod. On the contrary, if a consumer wants to store many songs on his iPod, this means that he has to buy a very large iPod and that's probably heavier. However, uh, whenever we think in terms of choices of consumers and firms, we have to think that they are not really an all or nothing decision, but they entail marginal consideration. So I always have, always have to compare the marginal benefit of choosing an additional item or an additional quantity of something with the marginal cost. Think of a student that has to study for an exam. Probably the student will study some hours. The real issue is, does it really pay off to study an extra hour in order to increase the probability of passing the exam? If this is so, this means that the student will have the incentives to study an extra hour, otherwise he will just quit studying. Okay, so as long as the marginal benefit is larger than the marginal cost, I will go on studying. Consumers and firms meet each other in the market, which is the place where consumers buy goods and services and firms supply goods and services. The exchanges of goods and services in the market are regulated by prices. Okay? The idea is that when the demand is larger than the supply, prices tend to go up, and when the supply is larger than the demand, prices tend to go down. As far as the first case is concerned, think for example of a consumer who wants to buy a ticket for the U2 concert. That event is very popular, so this means that the demand for that event is very high and prices tend to be very high. On the contrary, if we think of a case of a supply larger than the demand, we can think of winter sales or summer sales, whereby firms need to sell everything they have in the shop, and this means that they have to lower the prices in order to provide incentives to consumers to buy the goods and services. Bocconi Virtual College enrolling the smartest high school students.